best friend gave me the best advice. He said each day. WTF Vapors, homie here. Skeletor over here. How y'all doing today? Today, right now, as we speak, we are going to give you the review from Vape Shack, Vape Shack 808 in Wailuku, Hawaii. All the way from Wailuku, Hawaii, we have Bronson's Milk. The menu states on the flavor profile, which I'm trying to figure this out, made by the big man himself, which I'm assuming that's Bronson. Enjoy his delectable green cream with hints of strawberry. Very good. To me, it tastes like a strawberry smoothie. Very refreshing. I enjoy it quite a bit. Pretty decent, pretty decent. They uh, they have a whole bunch of different size bottles you can pick up, starting with 10 milliliters for $5. That's not a shipped price. However, it's kind of funny how they have their denominations of bottles that you can buy. You can get a 10 mil, you can get a 30 mil, you can get a 120 mil, but this is where it gets interesting. You can get a 16 ounce or a 473 mil, or you mm -hmm. can get a 32 ounce or a 946 mil. Now here's your price breakdown. You've got the five or the 10 mil at five dollars, the 30 mil at ten dollars, the 120 at 35, which is a damn good price for 120. But then it's 130 for 473 milliliters. That's a damn good price. Yeah, it is. And then you figure almost a thousand milliliters for two and a half for 250 bucks. That's not bad. Mm -mm. No, that's not bad at all. The nicotine count. Uh, that's actually kind of interesting how they have that set up as well. When I was looking on the website, I saw that they had 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and 18, but for an extra $2, you can get 21, and for an extra $2, you can get 24. Interesting, they give you that little nick boost. Yeah, it's not too much nick for me, though. But, yeah, me too. Holy cow, I'm on a three or less right now. Yeah. Could you imagine 21, 24? Yeah. I would go ahead and just, no, I couldn't uh, do it. Couldn't do it. No way. I'll but, take it. Wow. You brave. Brave vapor over there. That's the brave vape. I wouldn't have a throat left. It's my wife. Hi. How are you? So, going back at it, it the, the, uh, the enigma doesn't stop there. You go and look at their PGBG ratios, and it gets even more interesting. We've got... Clouds. Max VG clouds, which, when I was looking at the viscosity... It, it actually it looks similar to what we know as an 80-20. So I'm, even though it says max VG, I'm still thinking that it's kind of leaning towards an 80-20. Uh, when you got your other denominations here, you've got a 60 PG, 40 VG. That's good for tanks, real good flavor. You've got the max VG or the clouds, which we just talked about. You've got a 70-30 VG PG, so you've got 70% VG. That's a that's good a cloud thing. maker. They've got the 50-50, which is good for tanks, great for tanks. Uh, the 60 PG that I mentioned earlier would also be great for tanks. But then they've got what they call wet. Now that is 100% PG. That is max PG. I this guess that's all flavor. Mind. Giggity, giggity. Yeah. It's wet. Ha! So, <laughs> the uh, what we have is we have the clouds, which is the max PG, at a three uh, three milligram nicotine count. Um, we've got, like I said, the viscosity looks kind of like an 80-20. Uh, the smell, to me, the smell on the inhale was like a strawberry shake. It smells very strawberry. But I smell graham cracker like blended in there somehow. Like you take a strawberry shake and you, you know, you throw graham crackers or like a graham cracker crust, like a, yeah. and throw the graham cracker crust in there, mix it all up. That's what I smell. Um, you keep on going on like a, a strawberry smoothie. Yeah. Like going to Tropical Smoothie or some shit like yeah, that. Yes, like fresh strawberries, fresh smoothie, the taste, texture, the aftertaste, these like strawberries. I enjoy that aftertaste. And it's a very good vape, a very good cloud produ produ uh, production. Production, thank you. And Go with the flavor, I tell you what, on the inhale, it, all I taste is like, the fruit strawberry, not a candy strawberry, but a fruit strawberry. Yeah, it's not like a sweet, sweet overpower. Right, it's and that's like where I can flow. see where you're coming in with a smoothie. Mm -hmm. But it's smooth. When I exhale through my nose and through my mouth and through both, I get the same flavor. It's I get like a strawberries and cream, but almost like you know the lifesavers, cream savers sure. that they used to have. 
the strawberry cream one that they have, it gives me a, a you know, great comparison that way. Uh, it tastes a lot like that, but then it also has like an extra thick milkshake type. Yes, aftertaste and filling that you get. Right, right, and the clouds are thick, they're dense, they roll, and they smell like strawberry cream savor to me. But I'll tell you what, the aftertaste, though, what I'm really it kicking on the aftertaste is where I can really taste the strawberry smoothie, mm -hmm. the natural fruit flavor of the strawberry. Uh, it, it's it's excellent. I like it. Uh, what on is, a 1 to 10? Go ahead. When the WTS, I give it a 10 because it's a good flavor. I enjoy it. And it's another flavor I do enjoy. I only do two companies, and it's Vape Shack 808 and uh, Dr. Dr. Grimmies. And these are one of the top two I use, and they're very good. So I give it a 10. Okay. Uh, this flavor really had, it, it was complex for me, because when I first smelled it, I first smelled the graham cracker. When Homie first brought it over to where we can do the review for it, the, the very first set of drip that I had, it, it tastes like strawberry graham cracker. But as I sat there and I kept dripping, and I, you know, rolled into the flavor a little bit, you, it's been a few hours now, and the graham cracker's gone. Even though I still smell it, the graham cracker's gone, and it, it's got that real rich, creamy strawberry milkshake, mm -hmm. thick milkshake yes. type taste to it. And I, I will give it a nine and a half, a nine and a half. So a total of uh, nine point seven five WTFs for hey. Vape Shack eight oh eight Bronson's milk. And from where they're doing, I don't mind paying the shipping. It's that mm -hmm. good of a fluid. And it don't get old. It's all day vape. I've vaped it for a long time. Every time I get a chance to order it, I do. And I have a few friends who are probably going to watch this. Leave a comment about it. What's your opinion on it, too? We know a few of you. And I know they enjoy it, too, quite as well. We know a few of you have uh, have dripped the Bronson's milk. And if you haven't, if you've had other uh, Vape Shack 808 flavors, let us know in the comments section, the ones that have. Let us know how your palate's taken to it. Let us know if it's similar to ours. What would you rate it on the WTF? So signing off, I'm Skeletor. And I'm Homie.